Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Java 101. In this episode, we're going to learn how to use super constructors. Now, uh, as you can see, we're in the entity class, and basically the entity class just has a health field and methods for getting, setting, and modifying the health. It's used in player and monster, but if you want to actually set the health initially, which we want to do, we call the set health method. What we're going to learn how to do today is make a constructor an entity that takes the health and uses it. It's not quite as easy as you would think. So, first we're going to go ahead and make the constructor public entity int health spell, did I, is that how? Health wrong. Okay, this dot health equals health. Okay, so we've created the constructor, but as you can see, we're getting errors in both of the other classes, and the reason why this is happening is because um, what, but before we added this constructor, we didn't have any in entity, which means that Java automatically created an empty one. And that's fine here. But now that we have a constructor that takes a parameter, we need to call at least one constructor in the entity class. Note that if I did public entity with nothing, the error would go away because it's okay if we don't use, because this one doesn't take any parameters, so it's okay if we don't give any parameters to the superclass. But by taking that away, basically what we're saying is any class that extends entity needs to give it an integer that represents the health in the constructor. Now if you didn't already guess, the superclass and superconstructor are accessible by using the super keyword. And or reserved word to show how this makes sense. Right now, we're using the set health method. Um, of course, it's getting that from the superclass. But if you wanted to be more specific about how you call it, you could do super dot set health. And as you can see by typing super dot, you'll see get health, set health, modify health. But you will not see you know anything about money. That's because when you use the super keyword, it only refers to uh, any classes that are above it. You'll also notice that all of the object methods are there. That's because object is a super class of entity, which is a super class of player. It's, it's a little bit confusing there, but don't worry. It does make sense. So we can use the super word keyword just like we use this to access stuff within this class and all of these super classes, we can use super to access stuff in any super class. So what we're going to do is we actually want to delete this line and we're going to call the super constructor. To do this, you type super and then the health. Notice that this is the first line. It needs to be the first line. You can't just put it at the bottom. Uh, it, as you can see, constructor call must be the first statement made. So what happens here is when a player is instantiated giving given a um, string called name or n and it sets name to n and money to 19.99 it calls the super constructor and let me just make this a little bit less confusing there we go so you can see it calls the super constructor which takes the int called h and it sets health equal to that so I'm passing the value up in this case, instead of calling set health level times two, we want to do super level times two, which then in the super constructor sets health equal to level times two. And that's pretty much all that you need to know about super constructors. Don't forget that they need to be the first line in the uh, sub constructor or just constructor of this class. And if you have multiple constructors, you can choose which one you want to call. So, for example, if I had a, a constructor that took an integer health and a string name, then I could have a, then I could call either just the health or the health and the name. But if I don't have an empty constructor, that means that I need to use at least one of the super constructors. I hope that makes sense. It's not terribly complicated, but it's another awesome feature of inheritance. That's all for this quick video. Um, just uh, super constructors, very nice thing to know how to do. Might clear up some confusion if you attempted to do it yourself but didn't know that you actually need to call the constructor. As always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.